Hi everyone, I'm Vaughn Kevitz, designer and maker for VK Dare to Be Original on Galilee Life. And today I'm going to show you how to make a knot for these um, ear warmers, these headband ear warmers. And so this pattern was just, you can do it for any single, any pattern that you make for these ear warmers. And so this, these two are seed stitches and this one's a basket weave and they're both knitted or all three of them are knitted. But um, you can do it for for crochet or anything. So what you do is you take the length, and mine are an average of 20 to 22, and they're stretchy, so I just go like ballpark around there, and they fit adult heads. And so I want to make sure. So you're going to basically fold it in half. And if you actually have a pattern, this is reversible, but if you actually have a pattern that shows like like a cable, then you want the back to be outside and you want the face to be inside. And you, what you do is so, so this would be the face and then the back is the outside and you're going to fold it in half, fold it in half and then just kind of close them in on each other. And I'm just going to flip this around so I can maneuver it easy. And I'm going to try to thread this. good it worked easy um, so there's my edge so I definitely don't want to lose that there's my edge on this side I don't want to lose that on in there and then what you do is you stick your needle in the first one you get it in the second layer stick it in the second layer and then you make sure you get it in that third layer which is the edge fold on the other side and then you get it in the outer layer. So all four layers, you want to make sure you get it in. And then stick back, come back, make sure you get all four layers. And I just give it a good tug, make sure I get all four layers. I'm going to do this a couple of, of rounds so you won't miss it, but you just want to definitely pay attention to the four layers. Oops, I pulled too hard. A few more, and I definitely want to get this edge. And then this edge, and then I'm going to come back just to make sure I didn't skip any stitches as you can tell i'm not being very uh like knowing exactly which one it, this because it's, this is a, a basket weave and the colors are all crazy <laughs> i'm just as long as i going in all four layers and i know i'm securing it just gonna go one more time so i went one way came back and now i think to i'm just gonna do a knot right here. This is all just a securing, just to secure it. Mind you, um, let's, let's go away. There we go. Just wrap that around there. That's a good knot. That, that is not moving anymore. And then go a few more times because this is totally uh, machine washable. This yarn is machine washable and dryable. So I'm just going to stick this in one more time, maybe one more. And then boom. Ooh, yeah, got a string sticking up. Snip close. And there's a garbage. So what you do is so that's your back inside out, and then you just flip it over, and then boom. Now you have a nice knot. Easy peasy, and I don't have my template, and I would throw that on there. So this is about to go in my shop, but I just wanted to do a quick tutorial to show you how to make this knot. So basically any strip, crochet, knit or crochet, any rectangle strip, and then fold it in on itself. So back and forth, cut it, flip it over, and there's your beautiful knot. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, this is my first 
video on Rumble. Be sure to follow um, and subscribe. YouTube, be sure to follow and subscribe. Instagram, be sure to follow and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. God bless. Bye-bye.